what's up and good afternoon guys welcome back to another video today we got another special one for you got a little gear review um, over a tarp that I've got so stay tuned and we'll be right back right after this what's up and welcome back guys we're uh, back with another gear review today. Today we have the Gold Armor 3 meter by 3 meter camo tarp. This Gold Armor camo tarp has worked flawlessly. I've had zero issues out of it. It has kept us dry and it fit over the tarp, over my uh, hammock with no issues. So I've tried to set this up in multiple configurations and i have not had the best of luck with it uh as far as like setting it up i'm going to keep playing around with it keep testing it but what i have used of it i absolutely like so with that i'm going to go ahead and start the review so this three meter by three meter tarp was perfect for uh, my hammock camping it did everything i wanted it to it kept the wind off it kept the rain off um it covered me as far as keeping me out of the sun uh, it was just a great little tarp uh, I've tried to set it up in a tent configuration it did work I think I just set it up a little wonky weird or something so I think the next time I try and set it up I'm going to have to figure out how to set it up correctly but using it as a tarp on top of the hammock it worked perfectly so what I did was I set it up in more of a diamond configuration and it covered both ends of the hammock with no issues um, now the one thing that I kind of like but don't like at the same time was the stakes that it came with um, these stakes here don't go into the little tie down points as you can see right here the little tie down so let me show you why here in just a second so you got these little triangle stakes that it comes with right well these little triangle stakes have these like little positions for your uh, attachments for your I guess for your strings to hold the tarp down with but As you can see, there's an issue there. It won't go through the little tie down point, which sucks. I wish that they would stop putting these stupid plastic pieces on these stupid things. So what I ended up having to do was I had to run it through this piece here to get it to work. I do not like these plastic pieces. They're junk, they're garbage. But anyway, on with the review. Um, that's the only way I could get the stake in there. I had to take and twist it to get it to go in the ground and hold. Um, however, I also took the stakes from my other tarp. And I used those in these little tie downs here. So, I used these little J-hook looking deals and I was able to put it through the connector and actually hold it down to the ground, which these work great. These, not so good. These are good for like if you have to um, like put your string through here and then run it out to tie it down somewhere. Then these stakes work great because when you can put these in the ground and then you uh this like here will help you like pull it back out of the ground or whatever and then you just take your tie down and put it right here through these little deals that hold it in place so um what i recommend is just getting a extra pair of these and having them on hand and keep them with the gold armor tarp um now it comes with these really, really 
bright neon tie down strings and it comes with I think four yeah it comes with four stakes and it comes with four of the strings to tie it down with four is all you get so if you need extra you have to take some extra string or paracord with you and use it that way so other than that great little tarp excuse the sirens it is the first of the month and the first Wednesday of every month they test out the uh, warning sirens so if y'all hear that I apologize so this gold armor is same thing it's a uh, it's a nylon tarp with a PU rubber coating on the underneath side of it uh, this one here is probably about the same weight as the other ones about maybe two pounds uh, maybe a little bit more than that. I wouldn't expect it to be much more than that. Maybe um, These don't feel like maybe two pounds or so Packable lightweight quick and easy to deploy um, All I did was I took my ridge line for my hammock strung it out and then put this underneath it Attached it to the the ridge line and stretched it out put it over the hammock and it worked flawlessly in a diamond shape great little tarp I've been using it um, I've set it up in multiple configurations I set it up in like a uh, tent configuration and I still haven't quite got that grasp of how to set this one up in a tent configuration yet so I'm gonna keep playing around with it and figure out how to set it up in a uh, better tent configuration uh, there's multiple ways to set it up in different types of tents, so I'm going to keep playing around with it and doing that. But from the use that I have gotten from it, I'm going to say this is a definite uh, 9. Uh, I'm not going to give it much more than that. Probably an 8.5 to 9, just because it doesn't come with the little J-hook stakes with it. If they would have provided four of the triangle ones, along with four of the little aluminum J hook ones I think it would have been much better um, and then if they would have provided um, eight tie outs instead of four um, I think it would have been much better also um, if they would have had the eight it would have made it a lot better because then I could grab the center of the tarp and have pulled it up and out uh, which is what I ended up doing, but I had to take another paracord and tie to it to pull that top out uh, So it would give me a little bit more room like it, as far as like headroom um, Great little tarp no issues out of it. No leaking um, I've not like burned it with a fire or anything like that. So Great little tarp No issues like I said, I'm going to give it about an 8 to a 9 on a scale rating from 1 to 10. I'm going to also put a link down in the description for it. So if you guys want to purchase this tarp, y'all won't be paying any more for it. I will get like a little bit of a kickback on it. Not much, just a couple of, you know, a few cents, you know, once you do purchase it. Um, but like I said, you won't be purchasing it and making like extra payment or anything like that for purchasing it. Um, runs about, I think it was right at $20 when I, when I got this one, it may have gone up by now, but I think it's like right around like 20 something dollars for it. Great little tarp. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, I'm going to put a link down in the description to it. Um, if you want to, um, look back at the review of the Kalinko uh, 3 meter by 3 meter I'm gonna put a little link up here in the top left corner for it so check that out and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I have and until next time I've been Red Fox with Red Fox Outdoors get out and enjoy nature bye guys <laughs>